Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm going to attempt to do one of these, uh, you know, little street photography POV things. I'm just around the neighborhood right now. Um, nothing too exciting, but I figured the weather's nice and everything's very, you know, fall-ish right now. So I figured I'd try to give this a go. Um, right now the video you're seeing is on my phone. It's a uh, Galaxy S21. For those of you that are curious, um, and I'm going to be shooting today with my Canon M50 using my brand new Sigma 16mm uh, 1.4. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to give this lens a try. Um, I mean, right off the bat, this uh, this whole thing right here looking pretty nice. Let's see what we can get with that. Maybe we can get a wide shot in the street. As soon as these cars stop coming, I figured I was coming at a good time where there weren't going to be a lot of cars, but evidently I was wrong. Um, all right, let's try this out real quick. Just thought I'd give a nice wide shot of the street to go just to see what that would be like. Yeah. Um, For, for those curious, I do have uh, a wide lens like this one, but it's the kit lens that came with this Canon M50. It's the uh, uh, 15 to 45, I believe. These, you know what? I always have to stop and look at these flowers because they always look so nice. Mm, that one might have been a little underexposed, but it's all right. So yeah, I've I've really been wanting to try one of these POVs out for a while. Um, if you guys enjoy it, let me know. And um, I will try to do some more. I'll go to different parts of the city. Um, I got really inspired to do these because of um, uh, Optical Wander. You guys should look him up. Uh, Sam over at Optical Wander. Uh, I'll link him below. Um, but also Mike Chudley. Uh, I'll link him below as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really fun to watch them walk around and just take pictures of stuff uh, around their city. They live in London, um, so they've got a much better, uh, much better backdrop than I do living here in uh, the Central Valley in California. They, uh, yeah, they've got a much better palette to work with than I do. Um, I, don't know how, I don't know why, but I always got to stop and, man, this, yeah, this angle is really wide. I got to, you know, I got to get used to trying these out. I don't know why I always got to get this sign. I just think, I just think this sign has a nice, it's got a nice backdrop from the, you know, it's got the yellow and it's got the blue sky and the green behind it. I just think it's a really nice contrast. Um, but yeah, there's a, you know what, this looks kind of nice right here too. That is kind of the, that is kind of the nice thing about having a really wide lens is, is you can, uh, you know, get some nice, shots like this one here you know what i need to there we go that looks oh man that looks beautiful all right let's keep on going here there's a little uh there's a little uh walking trail up here uh, and it's it's usually nice for some for some good shots of like the trees and and the trail itself looks really nice uh because it's got the, you know, like the nice black asphalt and the yellow lines going through it and the nice leading lines. And it's, um, I don't know, like this right here. I've, I've always liked the way this looks. It's very, uh, like Narnia-esque. You just got this really cool opening. I wonder if I can get a nice shot of the, as soon as I get past these fences and whatnot. Let's see. Yeah, there's just something really nice about this area right here. Sorry, there's like a little dam runoff right behind me. So if you guys are hearing that, that's what that is. See what I mean? Like this right here, it's just, oh man, this is beautiful. Let me, let's see if I can get a nice white shot of this behind me. Behind me looks really nice. See right here? Let's see what we can get with this. All right. So apologies guys, I had to give a little bit of a, I had to double back a tiny bit. Um, I said that that was 
kind of like a uh, doorway to Narnia, well, uh, somebody emerged from uh, the bushes who lives there, and uh, yeah, that was a little bit scary. So, <laughs> I had to kind of double back. I'm going to go the other way now, uh, or around where I was. I don't know why, but I really like this tree. I don't know if it's the color and then the contrast of it against the sky, but something about it. It's definitely already feeling like a challenge using this uh, 16 millimeter ultra wide because you know you either got to get you either got to get very close to your subject or you it's all got to be you know wide things like how this whole thing right here is very wide. Let's see what we can get with that. As soon as these cars go by. I do at some point in the future want to try getting maybe like a uh, across the street without getting hit here. Um, like a uh, like an 85 mil or something like that. I do have a I have a 50 mil um, that I do I would like to upgrade to the Canon because it's a it's a young new o. Um, nothing wrong with it. Just the the autofocus is is not the best and it's really loud when it's focusing um i don't do a whole lot of video with the 50 mil but if i ever have the luxury or the need to do that um yeah that 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 autofocus on that is just really loud so i would like to upgrade to the canon 50 mil the nifty 50 at some point because uh, i can only assume it's it's better uh it's it's like double the price, so I would really hope that it's that it's better. Man, it is it is busy right now. I'm surprised it's that busy. It's only uh it's only 223 right now. Let's see. Wish I would have got a better shot of those bikers going by. That would have been nice. I do need to get myself um an ND filter for this uh, lens because going down to 1.4 um, I really want to use that focal length to my advantage um, but it is uh, you know it means you're letting a lot more light in and obviously when you do that everything's gonna get overexposed and blown out and that ND filter would really help um, I do have I do have one for my 22 millimeter but that's only like a Something like a 47 millimeter thread, and I think this is a 67 millimeter thread. So I probably just have to buy one for this huge one, and then just get some uh, get some like step down rings for it or something. Just realized how uh, just how gorgeous this thing really does look on there. Like it's man, just the look of it alone. I'm I am loving it. Uh, let's see, let's see what we can get right here. Let's try to test some stuff out here. Let's see what this. Give that a try. I want to try to do some, uh, Oh, I'm blanking on what it's called now, but let's give this a try. I don't know how well that's going to look, but we're going to find out now. Uh, yeah, I'm totally blanking on what it's called when you, when you do that. <laughs> oh well. This looks really beautiful right here. Look at this. I 
all right well you know i'm gonna head home uh this is just a little test run if you guys like it uh let me know i'll, I'll try to go to like some better parts of town uh that's a little more uh interesting to look at oh this isn't bad but um there's only so many you know trees and all that kind of stuff you can really take pictures of let me uh you know what let's try a little experiment here let me try looking through this and seeing what we can get Sorry if the sun is blinding you guys right now. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. All right, I gotta cross this street without getting hit by anybody. Oh, let's go. But we will uh, we'll take a little trip down the neighborhood really quick, and then we can, uh, and then I'm probably gonna head home after that. You know what? Let's try something here. Look at these flowers, man. These flowers are beautiful. Boy, they weren't lying. Saying you gotta get close to them. Oh, but going back to what I was saying before, yeah, I would really like to get a like an 85 mil uh, because yeah, I really like the as I'm starting to use the wide more and more. I mean, I, I love it. I love the the extreme wide field of view you get. I love the the bokeh you get from the 1.4. And just how much you can capture in frame and and I, I really love prime lenses i need to i need to uh experiment more with variable zooms but i just uh, i can't i can't get past the variable zooms only having you know they start off at such a such a low aperture of like four and you know things like that or a, you know 3.2 or something like that they're always so odd um i wonder how we can get I wonder if we can do something with the street here. Looks like a pretty cinematic street shot now. Man, that's gonna look so good. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? I would really like to come back out because uh, since this has got such a low aperture of 1.4 it means it's going to do beautifully in the uh in low light so i'm i'm really curious to try to we, we've been of course we've been having a the past few nights have been really uh misty and foggy and all that and that would have created such a great atmosphere to work with and uh, of course the day i decide to go out it's sunny and mostly clear skies but hey you know what there's there's more days some more days to come so um again if you guys like this i'm just right around the corner so i'm almost home uh but yeah if you guys really like this um please you know like it subscribe share give me your thoughts if you guys want to see me go to other places in town i will definitely do that Sorry, I couldn't resist the, uh, I couldn't resist that nice yellow tree against the blue sky. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like this and you enjoy it, uh, let me know and I will go other places. Comment if, you know, what pictures were your favorite or uh, if you think I need to improve somewhere. Or hey, you know what, I'm, you know, I'm just starting out. This is, I, I am a very, uh, very, very novice photographer, videographer, or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you guys even have tips for me, uh, be gentle. I'm not a... I'm pretty thick-skinned, but, uh, you know, everybody has a has a weak point in some places. Man, look how beautiful those flowers look. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it, and, um, yeah, I will see you in the next one.